This is a big day for me, because uh, I get to roast the lead singer of Fall Out Fuckboy. Isn't that exciting? Chris looks like when he comes, he goes, oh, wah! <laughs> Are you down with the syndrome? Oh, oh. Um. <laughs> I do. I do. He knows. I never thought I'd be roasting the squirrel from Ice Age, so I like this. You look like a ferret that only listens to white rappers. Uh, Chris, well, you look like a Twilight vampire who gets his power from monster energy, so... <laughs> Monster energy, by the way, is the way that all female comedians describe Chris. Uh, he's okay, he's got a little monster energy, though. Yeah, but you look like me. <laughs> Fuck me. That's the problem with the whole thing. That is the problem. Battle, 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 battle. You look like me if I drink estrogen instead of monster, you fucking... <laughs> Fucking lanky Munez up here. I'm getting, I'm getting roasted by Malcolm in the middle of a clan rally right now. It's ridiculous. No, uh, Nick is uncircumcised, which is sad. That's a sad thing. So when he yells at black teens to take their hoods off, he's just mad because it's something he can never do. So it's just a fun little thing about him personally. Chris's body is also deformed. Okay? <laughs> he has one of the creepiest tattoos I've ever seen in my life. He has the creepy face from the cover of Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Great it's, series. It's fucked up. It's actually a useful tattoo, though, because it tells all the women he's tying up how he got the idea. Ugh, <laughs> oh, fuck. That's how they know. Now I'm realizing. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> in, in roast battles, everybody calls Nick a pedophile, which is weird and doesn't make any sense. Why would he be into kids? They can't pay his half of the rent and let him borrow the car. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> his fiance does that, which is also uh, another reason you're not a man. But okay, that the last part didn't work. You get that one. <laughs> Fuck. But, the, but remember when I said that I look like you? That was really good. But <laughs> that part. Remember that, that part. Sick. for that, that was sick. That joke. Chris's favorite movie is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Never even watched it. That's just his dad's favorite nickname for him. So. Oh, fuck. Because your tattoo's fucking gross. He doesn't like the tattoo, apparently. I didn't know. Uh, no, it's true. His fiance pays his rent, which is weird, uh, because, like, why wouldn't he just live in the dam that he makes with sticks and branches? <laughs> You fucking marsupial face. Why the fuck wouldn't you just do the cheaper option? It's cool that Chris actually is doing this because Chris is really busy. He just got, uh, he actually just got booked to be a lead in a movie. Uh, Tim Burton's making Nightmare Before Insurrection. So, uh, you do look like Jack Skellington if his favorite holiday was Columbine, so. <laughs> Ooh. ooh, at the roast battle. That's, That's sick, dude. That's a badge of honor. I got a ooh at a roast battle. Oh, fuck, dude. I thought that was a B minus. I like that. I'm going to shoot up the place because of that. That was pretty good. <laughs> I like that. No, it's pretty good. Shouldn't you be burrowing in a prairie somewhere right now? That's my question. <laughs> Fucking muskrat face. You look like yucky cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call my dick, dude. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh. Remember, uncircumcised, it's yeah. gross. Gross. All right, you're up, dude. Okay. You're up on that one. Chris, uh, Chris is Italian and plays Dungeons and Dragons. It's a weird combo, especially because he rolls a 10-sided die to figure out how many times he's gonna hit his girlfriend. <laughs> it's a nat 20, usually, but... <laughs> how many hit points Nerd. is that? No, that's all of them, but <laughs> it's all of them. She's buried now, but... That was just because of the DM's campaign. She, he wanted it, but uh, this is this riff is dying pretty he gets bad. To, but... He produces the show, so he gets to talk shit for however <laughs> long he, he wants to. So we're all waiting for Nick to finally grow up and stop being an alcoholic. Uh, we're also just we're also <laughs> waiting for him to. Grow, she just laughed at alcoholic. But yeah, dude. We're also just waiting for Nick to grow up and for him to finally lose his baby teeth. Which uh, I got... look, it's gross. <laughs> I don't got baby teeth. I got adult gums. That's really the problem. <laughs> 
Uh, Chris, Chris is doing this to warm up for a big show at the Mothership. Uh, that's a big deal. Um, not Rogan's Club in Austin, his actual Mothership, which is a Spencer's Gifts in Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> Me and Nick obviously look exactly alike, and we are friends. One thing that we're not, that he likes that I don't, is sports betting. I just don't get it. He's always going on about, like, the over-under on a bet. How about this bet, Nick? What's the over-under on what fails first, your marriage or your liver? Which one, <laughs> which one's the over-under on that? I don't know. I got under two and a half years on the liver. That's what I got, dude. <laughs> this marriage isn't getting drafted. Give it up for him, guys. Give it up for him. Hell of a battle. Hell of a battle. Turn those lights on. There we go. Stephanie Robertson, judge these white men. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, oh, I am. Uh, you, guys, you guys do look like the first guys to ever offer me a cigarette in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> and you, now you ended up here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you dress like us. <laughs> um, I, uh... God, I need a cigarette. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. You guys both were so good and so bad all at the same time, you know? It was so good, and then it got so bad at the same time. Uh, so I, um, uh-oh. <laughs> Chris runs the show, and I want to be booked again. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to go for Nick, you guys. All I'm right, one for Nick. Nick, one for Nick. Who wants to hop in next? Mr. Eric Freddy. Oh man, this is hard. I don't know whether you guys should wash your hoodies or your hair first. I don't know. <laughs> you, guys, you guys both look like you just take note cards, cut them up into little pieces, and be like, I sell acid. <laughs> I don't know. This is, this is a hard battle. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to give it to Chris. All right, one for Chris, one for Ooh. Nick. Here we go, Mr. Max Sorich. I feel like you two have like, like argued enough to affect your relationship like about Call of Duty. <laughs> I don't know. You know like the other rats from Ratatouille that are like, yeah, cooking's gay. It's, it's like the, just those rats wearing hoodies, you know? <laughs> uh, I think it was a very fun roast. Uh, I think Chris just got a few more big pops, so I gotta give it to Chris. All right, two for Chris, one for Nick. Let's hop over to Jetski. How are you feeling? Um, this was so fun. It felt like a white Urkel and white Stefan were in the same room at the same time. <laughs> but I was really impressed by Nick. Uh, I was really impressed that you have a fiance. <laughs> that was yeah, that's, crazy. that's pretty crazy. It's, it's shocking. <laughs> it really is. It's shocking. <laughs> but the, the dragon tattoo was so funny, but I, I will give it to Chris. I thought overall it was... Uh, All right, Chris. we got three there for Nick. Who wants to hop in next? Mr. Hunter Hirsch. Uh, I gave it to Chris. <laughs> oh, I, I heard you. I got you. Okay, okay. <laughs> I just can't that do was, math. Yeah, right. That was cool. I lost track of who was who sometimes. Um, Chris, you're like Nick from a universe where his dad didn't fuck him. <laughs> but Or he did, but harder. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. I like that. That's actually, that's, does that count? That's <laughs> After t I'm still going to have to give it to Nick, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that was Nick. Sick riff, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Johnny, how you feeling? I feel really great. These guys have the same name, basically. Uh, the differences are, you know, I don't know. It's like two brothers that should be arguing behind a deli counter or something like that. <laughs> Just covered in flour, making everyone late. <laughs> so uh, the Columbine joke I liked quite a bit, because I, you know, just love death. Uh huh. So. Uh, I'm, that's just getting, you know, but that after the after the uh, aftermarket joke you had when we were doing the judge thing, that's also pretty good. I'm gonna have to give it to Chris. All right, Chris has got it. Chris has got it. Give it up for Chris Gringo. He's your winner. Nick Cartwright is out. Check them out. Hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.